Division II soccer sectional final between Mommy and Otsego girls. Panthers leading 1-0. Free kick from Kate Smalley goes over the heads of everyone into the back of the net. The Mommy Panthers are rolling early. Then later in the first half, Julia Feinling heel kick back to Ansley Heckman, who takes a shot. It pays off. Panthers on the prowl. Their offense stays on the attack. Second half, Feinling fires away. That's her second goal of the game, and she would find the net Again, right here, the senior, right place, right time for the rebound and kick in for the hat trick. Mommy advances with a 7-1 victory. Here's Feinling after a phenomenal performance to push the Panthers further into the playoffs. I think it's just really like I have to push my all through because it's, you know, I, I don't know if it could be my last or whatever game, but I, don't know, I just try my hardest out there and do it for the team. Double Brandon's on the call. Low and Bosch, what did you guys see? A wet weather postseason contest here on a Saturday afternoon. Brandon, it was raining. It wasn't raining. It was raining. It wasn't raining. Now it's raining again here as we're doing this. But it was a fantastic afternoon for soccer at a high school level, especially if you were the Maumee Panthers. It was. They got a hat trick out of Julia Finling. And honestly, it was not just her. It was a total team effort. We talked about Ava Leonard, another senior who played very well today here for these Panthers. They're chasing history, trying to get back to a district. And they've played very well today, and they look primed to do so. You mentioned Leonard and Finling played really well. One of the things that Finling said they did well was their passing throughout. And we saw that from our standpoint up in the box as well it seemed like they just had a good flow all throughout the day it didn't matter where they were taking it their passes were right there throughout the course of the contest they were and it was a lot of through balls up through the middle of the field we talked to coach McNutt before the game and that's what he said they really like to do they like to press the ball through the middle of the field and I thought they did that very efficiently today and that Otsego defense they had a really tough time de dealing with that they're a flat back four and when you're playing that against a team that's really just making runs and putting balls through you it it's going to be difficult to stop and you know, no credit against Blaze today. I thought she had a wonderful job in net for the Otsego Black Knights, but at the same time, she was getting peppered with shots all day. It was going to be difficult for her, and Maumee made them pay. So, Otsego season comes to a close, but for the Maumee Panthers, they move on in the postseason. They'll have Wasi on up next.